What's his speed? Will he survive? <laughs> in this world we live in, nothing happens by accident. His Excellency's helicopter did not just fall from the sky, just like that. My being the deputy governor is not also by accident. I was chosen to carry out our planned program. His Excellency, we will pass a new government in this world. Well said. Well said. In that case, I will say congratulations, Your Excellency. Thank you. You will make an excellent governor. I will also. Well, I'll be running along. Have a nice day, you guys. God and God Him. 
himself. If I have made any progress, success in my life, all thanks and glory go to God. Everybody says this. We all know. But we also know that we are lying to ourselves. Huh? I have heard thoughts, rumors, and whispered words that our people are afraid to speak of. And that is what I am asking you to let me do. I want to know, Chief, that extra thing that I need to do to have the kind of money you have. The extra thing I would recommend is hard work. Hard work, trust, and reliance on God and His Word. Reliance on the one who says he can take a beggar from the downhill and sit him right there in the midst of princes. Akaya, there you are again. I know those words. I know those conditions. But I tell you, in life, nothing stands alone. If a blind man is not led across the road, most times, he walks into an oncoming bed with his eyes wide open. Chief, Okaya, I don't know what you're doing. Give me what you know from what you do. I am very, very willing to do anything. Well, I have told you what I know and what I did to make my money. That is it, right? If you have come here to suggest anything as in please, do not come to my house again. Me and my household, we will serve the Almighty living God. Ha! I know you very well. I always do what you need. Have this. Go ahead, take it. Come over to my office tomorrow morning. But, Chief Alex, and by the way, knows only God, the one and true living God, Jesus Christ. And I would advise you that you should channel your focus and energy in that direction. And you know what? It is never too late. Uh -uh. Go upon God every time, anywhere. He will always, always answer you. All right. You go. Thank you for this much, but I still insist on going to sleep. I still insist on going to sleep. I want to be like you. I want to be like you, Akadia. Money, right? What else? What, what did he say he wanted? Oh. Mm -hmm. Chief, you and I know that that is not totally true. I never had a master who will show him how you made your money. So? But I hope you did not go tell him anything. Listen, you can't go out and tell your enemies which you took while wanting after the same antelope.
not be afraid. Who are you? Whatever you are, do not harm me, please. You did not tell him the truth. You lied. But you were right. When you said that I am the one who can take a beggar from a dung hill and sit him among princes. So, what are you looking for in that dung hill when I have separated you? Come out of them. For that where you are in is the place of destruction and partition. Come out of them and be. On the phone? Never mind. So where are you going to? I thought I just served your food. Alex. Hey. Alex. that need to be addressed. Thank you for forgiving me. I had a good station just now. If I knew, I would definitely know how to handle it. That's why I called it. I have questions. Questions that need answers. I need to know what to do. What word is you? Forgive me. 
but do what I like. A friend of mine who come to my place earlier today asked him me what I do to make my money. And then he left. I walked into my bedroom and this figure just stood there. It had no face and no shape. And he told me that I lied to my friend. That is no lie. Only a wrong perception of that which is broken. It also told me to leave the nativity, the place where I am. It said that it is a place of perdition and destruction. A breach. A breach in your defenses. No amount of evil spirits to walk into your home and unknowingly you have done something wrong to attract their presence. No spirit can walk this path. If they do, then it is a tear in the fabric of time, space, and dimensions. They come in to deceive and to kill. We have the power to send them back to the nethers, the bottomless pit, where they come from. The weight of authority you carry is sufficient to repel those who seek your destruction. Forgive me, Nathan. Far from it that I doubt your words, powers, or your knowledge. But this spirit protects me. And I went into darkness, but its presence never inspired any form of fear. Oh no. It inspired calmness and peace. Peace like I have never ever felt before. This saving spirits, lying demons, they cannot give peace. They did not grant wealth that our master, and he did not permit any spirit to visit you. Go and repair it. Go and repair the breach, the opening from where they entered. You know what to do. Of course, the sacrifice will be arranged immediately. Good. His Excellency. Deputy Governor asked me to table his regrets. The President had called for an emergency Council of State meeting over the tribal killings in the North, and he just has to be there, knowing that the Governor is indisposed. It is a good thing. The Governor will pass on after the moments of the worship of tomorrow's night. Thank you once again for the audience. Sometimes I wonder whether it is not the same business we are all in. I mean, I have not met anybody for the past two weeks. Everybody says there is a swamp in the building and construction industry. I go to a man who is in the same business with me. He dips his hand in his pocket and carelessly gives me 75,000 naira without thinking about it, without batting an eyelid. The same man turns around and says to me, if the money is not enough, that I should come to his office by tomorrow and he will give me more. Are you not happy that he gave you this money? That is not the issue. I'm happy with at least you have the money you have. Amara, that is not what I am talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. Where is all this money coming from? That's the question. 
I thought you said you would ask him. Uh, well, I did. The man almost sent me out of his house for his late that there is something else he does for the man. He swore that God is behind his money. Now tell me about what sin have I committed? This same God that I tried so much to worship has bluntly refused to give me money. Maybe you are not worshipping him right. Did I hear you right? Don't I go to church every Sunday and every Tuesday? Don't I go to any morning prayers before going to the market on Saturday? Don't I pay my tithes and give for the building fund? So, what else is he doing that I have not? What else do you want me to say now? What do we say? Anyway. Whatever it is they are doing to make all this world, I'll find it out. I'll find out. What? But it gets to me. It gets to me. It baffles me. What? That every time he gives me this money, I don't know what I've done with it. The next moment the money is finished. That goes to suggest that there's something else they do with this money. No, I don't know. I don't know. But at least God is using me to bless us. Come here, Mego. Sit here. Emily, you can come. Dad, are you okay? Daddy. Where are you coming from? Chief, you know that ignoring me is not going to solve any matters. So you might want to tell me. What's going on? I went to see the chief priest. What for? I had a visitation when I went up to my room. You were downstairs. A ghost, a spirit, whatever. He came to me and he left me a warning. A warning? Oh yes, that was why you found me asleep. I had no intentions of going to bed at that time. But he came to me and he touched me and then I just passed out. And the next thing I, I woke up and I saw my shoes carefully arranged. That much I can remember. You know, when I was coming upstairs, along the stairway, I actually felt something brush past me. You know, I couldn't tell if it was a human being or, I don't know, because I, I didn't see what it was. I was very certain that something had just brushed past me. He told me to leave the nativity. Why? He said that it is a place of perdition and destruction. Why is that? Like I said, I, I asked the chief priest and he said that there has been a breach in the wall of space and time around me and I have to repair it. Hmm. A sacrifice. So have you made arrangements? Oh yes, I call the boys. Should be on the way. Hey, you be careful, okay? Of course. You know I always will be careful. Always. Let me go take a shower and prepare. Let me know when the boys get here. Okay, would you want something to eat? Uh, I was gonna make you food. Let me take care of you. 
My head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart go where my head goes? Yeah, my head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart? You have not been given the permission to walk the face of the earth. Neither have I given you the right to walk into my room. Stop manipulating my mind this minute, I tell you. Stop disturbing my peace, or I will call down all the powers of the meeting, and you will be utterly, utterly rich. I am the Lord. Who has instructed me from the foundation of the world? And say no when I have said yes. Where can you go to hide from the one who knew you before you were found in the bed? Two 
there and proclaim that the body in hell would you want to set at me? Listen, Alice, I know what I saw. I, I, know, I know what I saw. It was, it was deep. Right now, I cannot fully understand it. Until I do, I don't know how to do something that will call down the voice of the powers that be upon my head. <laughs> you make me laugh. Powers that be? Do I need to remind you, my darling, that there is just one power that be? And that is the power of the Trinity. The chief priest who was spirit, his son, Baphomet, and of course, Lucifer, who was the Lord and the son of the burning. What if this is not true? Huh? Tell me, what if this, this whole thing they've been telling us, what if it's not true? Listen, I know what I saw. I saw it. It was, it was deep. No man was stronger. And also, it was not a little of darkness. It was deep. You have gone crazy. You are insane. Alice. Do you mean something else? Alice! Alice! My head says move against the wind But my heart says move where the wind blows How do I make my heart go where my head goes? Yeah. My head says move against the wind But my heart says move where the wind Take her out and set her free. Chief heard me. I said take her out of this compound this minute and set her free. Chief, don't you think you're making a mistake? Yeah, my head say move against the but my heart say move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart go where my head It's easy for me to say that I don't have a choice at all. Is it pain? Is it sweetness? Is it joy? Is it sadness? Is it good or is it evil? It's on me to make a choice. <laughs> I don't know them. I don't know them. 
they came, they said they were looking for their niece. Mm -hmm. So I decided to to help out since I was already at the school gates. So I joined them in the car. So what what happened next? That was the only thing I knew. So what happened next? I I saw myself in a house. Jesus Christ. With with two men inside. Mm -hmm. Wait. I could see them, but I could not move. <laughs> then another man later came in and joined them. So? <laughs> he said he wanted to know if I'm a Beijing. Do what? So then, uh, hmm? he did? them to pull off my clothes. Has he ever spoken to you? Oh yes. Oh yes, he spoke to me clearly. He told me to leave the place where I am, that it is a place of destruction and perdition. But what I do not understand, Father, is why me? Why would God choose me? Why why would he choose a man like me, a man who has his hands stained with so much blood? Why me? After all, I but he forced me to serve the devil. I choose to do it myself. Why me? Listen, my son. You did that in ignorance. As regarding why you, God's law is not like human law. God knows that sometimes we do not know the right thing. Or even the right way to pray. That's why we make mistakes here and there. So don't bother yourself, my dear. But why do you go? What caused you to get I told my boys to set her free. Nice thing you have done. Nice thing you have done. How am I going to hurt you? What am I supposed to do now? I hear voices. Voices in my head. What do I do? My son. All you have to do is to surrender yourself. All and entire. Never let us win.
I belong to no man. Hear me? I belong to no man. I to the nativity, the cult, not you. So if I decide at this point to leave the cult, it is strictly my prerogative, not yours. If you think about the consequences, do you think about what the nativity could do to you? Do you even think about what would happen to us? Did you? Oh, jeez. Can we just have silence, please? Silence, oh. silence. Just, just enjoy the quiet environment. Alice, there is nothing, I mean absolutely nothing to be afraid of. I may not know what about the Bible, but I know that the word of God says that the devil is like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. Now, the Bible didn't say that the devil is a lion. It said that the devil is like a lion. Now, I know that in our foolishness and quest for wealth. We have been worshipping the devil for quite a while now. Right now, it is enough. God has touched me and I will no longer worship Oh, me. shut up! Just shut your mouth! For Christ, what are you vomiting? Has one this touched your head? Oh, Alice, you think that you can stand the wrath of the nativity when it comes down on you? No, you can't! fully understand what I'm doing, what is happening to me, but one thing I know that right here in this room, God visited me, he touched me, and he told me to leave the nativity, and that is exactly what I have done. I will no longer worship the devil, ever. And please, my dear wife, I do not want to talk about this again. My enemies are at My enemies have decided to use my own husband against me. It will not work for you. Alice, my dear, it will not work for you. I promise you, it will not work for you. You. Oh, so Alice, you want to send me back to the village. Your plan is to send me back to the village to poverty. But to fear, I bet you, in this house, you will receive what you want from morning till night every day. It will not work for you. No for five people, they don't sell them to see me. This is more fun than you know, it's more than you know. But I venture, I told you I'll be having five visits in prison, and I want you to be a contact to them personally. So please, why don't you? 
can do to spill an innocent blood on every part of you. You are the most perfect you wish and refused. Chief Alex Murray is a huge consensus. Murray. Murray is a blue consensus. You don't know the truth. If it is more money than you, you can appeal. Access to more resources. I do not need anything from the government. I I appeal to the chief priest to give me an opportunity to talk with you because of the relationship that we will share. And he was magnanimous. I would rather that you listen to the voice of reason because you may not have fully comprehended the extent of the power and reach of the Nativity family. It can crush you like the mud underneath the feet of an elephant. Aha, uh -huh. one more thing. His Excellency will be passing on this night. And I will be sworn in as the next executive governor of the state. The first thing I will do is to make sweeping changes in my cabinet. And all the members of the Nativity family will have positions in my government. And I have reserved the position of the Commissioner for Trade and Industries for you. But that is, of course, if you resign on this, your foolish madness. Madam, please advise your husband. Thank you. Have a nice day, Your Excellency. Not a word, not a word. Okay, fine. Listen, we have agreed not to fight about this issue. Okay? But let's be reasonable. His Excellency has said everything. He has told you what you start to gain if you go back to the nativity. You will remain the commissioner who will give him so much wealth and power than you've ever had. What will it cost you to accept that? And it will cost you your soul if you reject it. For Christ's sake, Alex. You are for people know the God that you serve. Do you know the power that the nativity wants? The one who can make and break? Who can kill your body and your soul? Let me be like me, Sita. Come after you. He will crush you into power that then will you only destroy you. Don't you get it? You see, that is exactly my point. That is what I've been trying to tell you. My dear wife, is that the kind of God you want me to continue serving? Huh? A God who, who destroys. A God who, who delights in lasciviousness and immorality. A God who glories in spilling innocent blood every other day. Monday. Monday to Sunday, we spill blood. That is all we do. We spill blood. Is that it? Oh, please. Chief Alex, we will no longer be part of that God. No. All the gods are the same. They delight in the same exact thing. Let me ask you a question. What is the difference in the blood of rams, goats, sheep, and that of humans? Blood is blood. Do you know what those priests you want do with those little ones when you're not there? Of course I do. Of course you don't. Serve the God that has taken delight in you and has stretched for this end of friendship, which you so stubbornly are rejecting. Listen to me. Do not allow the love that he has for you turn into hate. Because, my dad, you cannot stand the wrath of Lucifer.
wickedness is taking over this state. The governor did not die last weekend. He was killed. By who? By the nativity. The cult group that I belong to. Their plan is to take over this state. So the first thing they did was to approach the deputy governor and get him on their side. Then they went for the governor and he refused. So they struck him with a nail. Even in that condition, he made it clear to them that he would rather die than serve the devil. So they killed him. So now that the governor is dead, what is it? The deputy governor was sworn to that. And he told me that the first thing he would do would be to make sweeping changes in his cabinet. Only members of that time, the first step in the plan was to hand over his state to Satan, the source of all this country. I guess that was the plan that was chosen to be performed to expose the wickedness that they want to penetrate. This is beyond what I have thought in Shelly. Children. We have the fight on our hands. Yes. Yes, we do have the fight, but far more to it. How do I stop that a man of a clean lips and I notice that these things? How do I speak? How do I combat them? No, 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 no. Let me tell you one thing. Whoever the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. God, our Almighty Father, has called you clean. I saw so not in indeed. Come not yourself. And worry not yourself about how you go about the whole thing. If really he is the one who spoke to you, for sure he will tell you what to do at the point in time, my son. That's his actual plan. Because I'm trying to confuse by since I left the cult, he has not appeared to me. Because demons, demons who feel the pit of hell from darkness, so the intimacy they have been tormenting me. My son, God has his ways, and his ways are different from those of men. The Bible tells us that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it ever entered into the hearts of human creatures what God has in store for his beloved was. But has shown us that from the Spirit. If you will see the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, He will empower you. He will energize you. He will give you photographic memory to remember all of your thoughts. He will stand by you. He will protect you. He will give you a new soul. A bad choice in your heart. The Holy Spirit of God will tell you what to do at any point in time. That's all. Position in the government. In which government? The government just banked this money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the only one was going to die anyway. Listen, the present deputy governor is going to be sworn in as the new governor this evening. And you know, he's a personal friend of my husband. You don't say So you are speaking for the wife of the Commission of Health, Trade and Industries. That's why I'm here. I envy you, but I'm very, very happy for you. Look, girl, I need to stand out at that event. You know how I like to look now. I mean, these other women, I just, I don't want anybody to outdo me this time around. 
So I, I need, need to sum it like real. I want something really elegant. Anything I want. Yeah. Okay, we're pretty done now. Let me set it out and I'm not sure. Okay. The finest that you have, eh? Are we Don't worry, money is not a problem. Hello? Hello, Alex. Alex, where are you? Yeah, I'm busy. You're busy? Alex, as you're getting busy, I hope you do not forget the fact that this is happening. And they have to be there. Did anyone invite you? Do we have to be invited to an event of the same Mahubuti in Scandinavia? And someone somewhere told you that I've accepted to serve in the cabinet. Alex, why are you rejecting every good one? Why would you even think of not signing up for those cabinets? Or you think it's evident that what is called the one to become a commissioner? Listen, Alice, I don't wish to have this discussion right now. I have something very important to say. Something more important than us moving into, into a decent society? Something more important than us becoming the leader of the state? Are you kidding me? Listen, listen, oh, listen, uh, uh, Alex. I am coming to that house right now. And I'm going to get ready and go for that event. And if you, you better be back on time. Look, Alex, if you do it, I'm trying to get ready. I'm not but my heart hey. over the windows. How do I make my heart go away? My head goes. Away. Away. Sorry, I kept you waiting while going to freshen up. I hope you've not been very bored. Oh, no, no, no not exactly. The weather well, has been keeping me company. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Actually, I just got off the phone with him. He's almost here. Really? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. By the way, the swelling was a huge success. Oh, my God. You couldn't say that again. It was huge. <laughs> Oops. He's here. Really? Ceremony, but we did not see you. 
So I came to find out why you were not there. I have no reason to quarrel with you, Mr. Commissioner. You called me to tell me you were coming. I made it categorically clear. I said no. I will not entertain any member of the nativity in my house. I have rejected the devil and everything that is associated with me. Jifako Kalia, we might belong to a family, but a cult of devil worshippers. Let me ask you this, Mr. Commissioner. How many lives, souls have you sacrificed, wasted? But how has that got to do with this? Your sacrifices are essential. To secure your life, to help your business grow. To appease the devil for the same wrong, to help you make more money, and what else? Commissioner, you alone, you have sacrificed over 15 souls to the nativity, to the devil. People you did not know. People who have families, people who have loved ones, who have children, who looked up to them. Souls that were important to God. Let me ask you this. Do you remember the man who was begging for his dear life and we stuffed his mouth with millet pizza and buried him alive? Or the pregnant woman who was wailing, crying when we ripped out the fetus from her stomach? And what about the beautiful girl we ate bits and pieces of her dress and buttons while she watched, she screamed? And you stand here, right in my living room, and you tell me that you are not of the devil? You sick, debased souls who rot in hell with your master. Get the hell out of my house! Get out of my house. How can you? My head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart go where my head goes? Yeah, my head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How? Do Something is very wrong with my head, and today I tell you, you will find out what that thing is. You stay. 
get out of my way when I, I have important business to attend. What loving business? Who gave you the damn business? The nativity! I can't sit down. The business don't really want to do that in this movie. Jesus Christ, Alice, how many times will I tell you that I have found God? I have found Jesus Christ. I have found God. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Only in Him will you find salvation. It is only in Him. What the real sin are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Where is this God? Where is the Lord Supreme? Where is he been? How can you show me your music in the mud? Where the hell is he? So now, there is a God who beats you out of the covers, dust beats you up, brushed you off, giving you fame, fought you, wealth! He now suddenly just, just appears! And you think that you can do the that for all him? Seriously! I will not stay here and listen to you. You are going anywhere but the middle of it. Get out of my way. I know who you are. Alice, get out of my way. I'm telling you the truth. You are going to go anywhere but that government house. And if you become that government house, but if you like this, I will not stop you. Jesus Christ, you listen to me, woman. Look at me. I am not you. Show me and you will never find me. We are my house for people, sir. The living God. You hear me? And if you decide to do otherwise and assert that I will fight, let it be your choice. If you also want to take the position of the commissioner or the other thing, it's fine. Go to the nativity and tell them to give it to me on the market. That thing will be the very best thing you will set your foot on. Stop making noise. Let me tell you something. If you think that you want to dare me, try it out. I'm telling you, you don't need you before you go to the back of your business and tell you from this house. You think you're going to bring me down to the poverty? It is not going to work. But I'm telling you, you will never in your life decide to mess with a man like me. Try me! You will go to that government house and you will become the commissioner! God help you! God help you! Hello. This is His Excellency, Dr. Jones, the Executive Governor of the State. Ah. Congratulations, Your Excellency. I did not see you at the swearing in of the new commissioners this morning. I thought I made it abundantly clear that I do not wish to serve under your administration, Your Excellency. And why is that so, if I may ask? You and I know where we both come from. With due respect to you, Your Excellency, you do not have the moral standing to sit in government house and lead the people. Your hands are stained with blood. So much blood. Blood of the innocent. Ah, <laughs> Kokalia, uh, I stood against the wrath of the chief priest to give you an opportunity at reformation, but it seems you have had that wish. On the contrary, you people are the ones who need reformation. Him who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. If believing and accepting to worship the one true God means having a death wish, then fine. I don't mind dying a thousand times over. Ah, <laughs> Kokalia, my friend. If you only understand what it means to die a thousand deaths in a lifetime, you will not open your mouth and talk like that. Because that is exactly what will happen to you. I gave you an opportunity to become something. But you should right back into my face. Now, you will understand what it means for both the physical and the spiritual forces. Come after you. I will kill you. And I will enjoy doing it. And when I am done, when you think you are dead, I will hand you over to the chief priest. 
do what you must do, Your Excellency. I have gone too far to go back now. I know that it will be an honor to suffer and die for what I believe. Have a nice day,
choose me to, to suffer and die for an assignment that that I get to understand? Did you choose me to 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 wallow in darkness and in, in blindness? Yeah. 